Care FC Fort Collins. Get ready for some youth music. This is the Rhythms of Youth Show. And we are recording this show on a Sunday. I wanted to thank you all for tuning in to the Rhythms of Youth Show. A lot of great things happening in this wonderful Music City, Colorado, we have here in Fort Collins. We are going to be continuing the Cream of the Crop series through August 14th out of the Ben & Jerry's patio, Monday through Wednesday, 5 to 8 p.m. And uh, some great um, local musicians, youth musicians playing out there. We also have some great musical guests that are going to be happening today, starting with uh, the techs in training from middle school, Rafi and Alex will be interviewing Taylor Hall, who plays guitar and sings. And then after that, we're going to hear me speaking with Cameron Oliver, who's playing some alto sax, and ending up the show with Eli Slocum playing some mandolin. And Eli will actually be at the Cream of the Crop this Wednesday from 5 to 5.45 p.m. playing his plug-in mandolin. We're going to start the show with a couple tunes from Forte 201, an all-female eight-member a cappella group from Pooter High School, the wonderful 10-track CD that's out there, available at forte201.com. You can get a hold of a copy of this CD through that website. All proceeds benefit the Performing Arts Department at Pooter High School. We're going to start out with a couple tunes from that CD. We're going to hear Aquarius, followed by Mama Who Bore Me. This is the Rhythms of Youth Show. Sleep in the heaven or death. 
KRFC 88.9 FM at the Rhythms of Youth Show. We're your hosts, Rafi and Alex, and we're here today with Taylor Hall. How are you, Taylor? Good. How are you? Good. We would like to acknowledge Vincent in tech. How are you, Vincent? I'm doing great. It's really fun having you two hosts today. Wonderful. Yay. Yeah. (laughs) So, Taylor, I heard you've been doing Lincoln Jam in Lincoln Middle School. How was that? That was really fun. It really helped me with, like learning how to perform in front of audiences so so what exactly was that like can you explain it it was just a band that they did after school and it was like it wasn't like the school band with other orchestras or anything it was like guitar drums basses etc nice that's cool so your first song would be like last time can you tell us about that song um sure pretty much i went through something and then I pretty much thought I would never have to deal with that again. And then it came up again. And so I was like, oh, great. So, Oh, that's like, cool. Take it away. Yeah. Okay. And I thought I was smarter than I was back then But now I'm falling hard like I did before And I know I won't be able to get up off the floor thought I would be a little bit stronger And here I thought I would last a little bit longer But I was dead wrong Cause I'm going down And I'm hitting the ground Cause the smallest things are ruining me And everything you do is breaking me Why can't you see I'm wishing I didn't fall to be done Just like last time I let myself go Didn't even try to stop or go Slow. Just like last time I watched myself Walk right off the cliff I knew I would fall But still took that last step Cause the smallest things Are And everything you do is breaking me. Why can't you see? I'm wishing I didn't fall in love. And all I want is for this to be done. Like I did last time Cause I couldn't breathe If 
Falling in love is like drowning in the middle of the sea. No one can hear your screams. No one can see your pain. Cause you fall in love to everyone else. It's just a game. Cause it's not. All I want is for this to be done. Wow, that was, wow, that was amazing. How did you think, Miss Vincent? You, you hit those high notes, and I was rather astonished. Thank you. You, you, you surprised us with those. That was really, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah amazing. Hey, so um, we we've been wondering in the here in the station, how long have you been writing songs? Probably about when I was around six. Nice. Have your do you think your songs have really majorly progressed? When I was six, like they were like just kind of about candy or something, and now <laughs> they're like they have an actual meaning. So yeah, yeah, that's cool. Okay, so um, your next song is going to be California Beach. Did you, like, want to go to California or something? Yes. <laughs> um, I've never actually been to California or the beach, but I've seen pictures, so it's kind of just, like, an upbeat party song. Yeah, like, that's what I thought of hearing that title. I thought it would be, like, rock and roll or something like that. Yeah, yeah. it's just pretty much just having fun, hanging out with your friends, having a big party yeah. on the beach. I yeah, love those cool. songs. Yeah. <laughs> so here is Taylor Haw singing <laughs> California Beach. Making their way up to the beach They're saying hey to all of their friends Gonna have fun before the night ends The band on the stage is rocking out All the fans in the crowd are dancing around Something about the beat of the music Makes everybody sing along to all of the songs Throwing the beach ball high in the sky When the stars come out you know it's party time Nothing stopping us from having the time of our lives you and me, baby, let's have fun tonight. The band on the stage is rocking out. All the fans in the crowd are dancing around. Something about the beat of the music makes everybody sing along to our love songs. your problems just move on worry about them tomorrow cause tonight we're having fun baby take my hand and trust me this will be fun you'll see the band on the stage is rocking out all the fans in the crowd are dancing around something about the beat of the music Makes everybody sing along to our love songs. Awesome. 
Awesome. I think, you know, when people like turn on the radio, they'll hear you and they'll think, oh, wow, this girl's amazing. Is this like a star or something? And I don't, th they won't be able to change the channel. Thank you. Hearing that song just makes me want to go to the beach right now. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us about your voice and instrument lessons? Because we hear you've been in those as well. So I actually have voice lessons with Cynthia Wanger, and she's also helps me with piano a little bit and I take guitar lessons with Jim and he's at the same place as Cynthia so it's pretty easy to get around. It must be kind of nice just to help be in one place for your music and just really be able to focus on it instead of driving around. <laughs> yeah. We would like to introduce Taylor Hall with her next song In My Way. Tell us about this song Taylor. It's the really the only song I have written that's original that's on keyboard because I'm not as familiar with keyboard as guitar. Um, it's more of a slower song, I guess. It's not as upbeat. So how did you come up with like the idea for this song? Well, at the time, I was like, Demi Lovato's new album came out, and I was listening to one of her songs that was really keyboard, and I really liked the feel and sound of it, so I was like, well, why don't I try writing a song kind of like that? So I did that awesome so take it away as i look around i see your face i can't get you out of my mind as i walk around trying to move on i think maybe i just need some time but as i let time pass me by it's still all i think about Spending over a year now and I'm screaming loud Every time I look you in the eyes these feelings come back to me Because of you I'm crying enough tears to fill the sea I know if I can move on everything would be okay but we both know you're never gonna go away What do you think, Rafi and Alex? Awesome. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. So um, now she's switched back from the, p the keyboard. To guitar. Yep. Yeah, now she's playing guitar. <laughs> and now her fourth song is going to be Alibi. You 
collide right to my face, and I would not want you to get away. I don't know why I need you so bad, but there. About you that I've got to have. You could play me like a rag doll. Cause without you, I would fall. You are my crutches. Are my heart, even though you're the one that broke me from the start. I am standing here with a sad look on my face. Cause I know you're wrong for me, but that you cannot be replaced. So I'm stuck here, dreaming about a better place. I'm wishing I could just go away. You could play. Cause without you, I would fall. You are my crutches. You are my heart. Even though you're the one that broke me from the start, you could play me. Cause without you, I know I would fall. You are my crutches. You are my heart. Even though we are the one that broke me from the start, you collide. Right to my face, and I would not want you to get away. I don't know why I need you so bad, but there's something about you that I've got to have. Nice job, awesome,、Taylor. great job. What did you think about that, Vincent? I think you're sounding great, Taylor. You really sounded fun. It's、uh, it's been a while since you've been in here with the Lincoln Jam when you were back here,、yeah. and it's cool to see you doing the solo stuff. Really great.、Thank、so you. your next song is just to move afraid. Why did, why did you choose that song <laughs> to like have for a cover just to learn? Yeah, pretty much. And I really like that song because it's really inspirational. It's like. Even people who don't have money or time, they can still take like even like two seconds out of their day to just like wish and hope and pray for the people who need help. So I really like that song. So yeah, sounds very inspirational. We are listening to KRFC eighty eight point nine FM. Take it away, Taylor. Oh. Pray. I just can't sleep tonight, knowing that things ain't right. It's in the papers, it's on the TV, it's everywhere that I go. Children are crying, soldiers are dying, some people don't have a home. 
And I know there's sunshine beyond that rain. I know there's good times beyond that pain. Hey, someone told me how to make a change. Close my eyes and I can see a better day. Close my eyes and I pray. Close my eyes and I can see a better day. Close my eyes and pray. I lose my appetite. Knowing kids starve tonight. My sinner, cause I'm a dinner, it's still laying on my plate. I've got a vision to make a difference and it's done today. I know there's sunshine beyond that rain. I know there's good times beyond that pain. Someone told me how to make a change. I close my eyes and I can see a better day. Close my eyes and I pray. Close my eyes and I can see a better day. Close my eyes and I pray for the broken hearted. Pray for the life not started. Pray for all the songs I'm breathing. I pray for all the souls that need a break. Can you give them one today? I just can't sleep tonight Cause someone told me how to make a change I close my eyes and I can see a better day Close my eyes and pray Close my eyes and I can see a better day Close my eyes and I pray I pray, I pray, close my eyes and pray. That was amazing. KRFC 88.9 FM, Rhythms at the Rhythms of Youth show, where your hosts, Raffi and Alex. Awesome. Again. So, yeah. So we hear that you're going to go to Pooter High School? Yes, I'm going to be a freshman next year. That's cool. Have you liked being at Lincoln? Yes, it was very good to lead into high school because then you kind of learn a bit before. Yeah. About high school. So this next song is Titanium by David Guetta. I think this song is very inspirational for me, and so I bet it is for you, but still... Yeah. Do you have any special reason why you kind of chose that song? Yeah, um, it's also inspirational. Um, it pretty much just means to me kind of like, don't give up. I'm titanium. I can do Yeah. You can't bring me down with anything, pretty much. Good. So, hit it, Taylor. <laughs> you shout it out, but I can't hear a word you say. I'm talking loud, not saying much I'm criticized But all your bullets ricochet I'm talking loud, not saying much I'm bulletproof, nothing to lose Far away, far away Ricochet, you take your aim Far away, far away Shoot me down, but I won't fall I am titanium Shoot me down, but I won't fall I am titanium Cut me down, but it's you who'll have further to fall. Goes down and on it loud. 
Raise your voice. A sticks and stones may break your bones. I'm talking loud, not saying much. I'm bulletproof, nothing to lose. Fire away, fire away. Ricochet, you take your aim. Stone hard machine guns firing at the ones who run. Stone hard, spoiler proof glass. Show me down, but I won't fall. I am titanium. Show me down, but I won't fall. I am titanium. Thank you. Wow, amazing. That was really nice. I like that cover of Titanium. Yep. This was KRFC 88.9 FM on the Rhythms of Youth show. We are your hosts, Rafi and Alex. Thank you, Taylor. You're welcome, and thank you for having me. Yeah. And if you would like to visit Lincoln Jam, they have a Facebook page. They also performed on Vincent Channel 10 show at the Pooter School District. So I hope you guys look at that. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Taylor. Nice job. We're here with Cameron Oliver. He's a seventh grader coming up here at Weber Middle School. Hello, Cameron. Hello. It's awesome to have you here. You are, uh, you're holding this incredibly cool sax. What kind of saxophone is that that you're holding? It is an alto saxophone. Alto. It's the sort of the smallest. The smallest is really soprano, but it's the smallest besides the soprano. Absolutely. We're doing some pre-recording here in the Green Studio, and you are um, at Weber Middle School. And tell us about what you're going to be involved with with music upcoming here uh, with Janet Webster Wheeler. Well, um, we have three jazz groups at Weber. Um, There's the jazz orchestra, the jazz winds, and then the jazz band. Last year, my sixth grade year, I was in uh, jazz winds, and then next year I'm going to be in both jazz winds and jazz band. Wow, that's quite the commitment. You've got some uh, early mornings because doesn't that, in for large part, take part prior to the regular regular school day? Yes, it starts at seven, and the normal school day uh, starts at seven fifty. Wow, you're a very committed young musician. I admire that. Now we're going to hear some really cool tunes today. What is the first song you're going to play for us, Cameron? It is the Star Wars main theme. Basically, everything the, the main theme you'd recognize it almost immediately after the first four notes Mm -hmm. and it's what do you hear before every movie starts when the line of words are moving into space
Really nice job, Cameron. Thanks. I really like your picks of music. Now, you're playing some other Star Wars themed music today. Yeah. So, what drew that to you, that type of music? Oh, um, well, I've watched Star Wars a lot. And I lost interest for a while, and then I got this book, and then it gave me interest again. I just saw it at the store, and I knew the song, so I thought I could play it. And also, I needed some good music for my saxophone because. I didn't have a lot of good stuff to play. Right. You haven't been playing saxophone that long. No, less than a year. Um, I started at the very beginning of the school year. I was about, I don't know, 11 months ago. Yeah. Well, you're doing really well. Doing really well. And Thanks. again, I really love the pick of the Star Wars music. It's very recognizable and it's fun. And John Williams obviously was quite the, still is quite the composer. Yeah. Definitely. What is the next selection we're going to hear from you, young man? It is called The Imperial March. It is Darth Vader's theme. You'll probably recognize it within first five notes. <laughs> We are here with Cameron Oliver. Nice to have you here, Cameron. Yeah, it's nice to be here. What are your initial impressions of being in the green studio here at KRFC? It's very interesting. I've never been in a recording studio before. Well, besides the Channel 10 studio. Right, you were in there with the Radio Rhythm Show with Janet Webster Wheeler's, um, was it the Jazz Winds? Yes, I am in the Jazz Winds, but she also brought the Jazz Band. You, aside from this wonderful saxophone we're hearing, also play some other instruments. Let's talk about that. Yes, I play the guitar. I've been playing the guitar for the longest amount of time, three years. But, of course, I don't necessarily have three years of practice because I didn't have a teacher. I lost touch with my teacher for a while, and I don't take guitar lessons anymore. I, he, he lives too far away. Is this an acoustic guitar? No, this is my electric guitar. I don't play acoustic Electric guitar, that's really great. And there are some other instruments as well. Yes, there's the clarinet. I've been playing that for a little over a year, probably four months over a year. Now, I'm curious, I have to ask you, Cameron, with electric guitar, are you are you strictly focused on jazz with your electric guitar? No, I'm not uh, strictly focused on any kind of music. I just kind of go freestyle, play my own things. And uh, occasionally I'll learn a song just because I like it. I've heard it on my iPod or the radio, and I want to learn it. I think it's so awesome uh, what Jana Webster-Wheeler um, is doing out there, and Miss uh, Elizabeth Kirk, I believe, as well. When you're, le- when you're learning jazz, it really opens up what you can do musically. Yeah, it, it does. Like, jazz is so complicated, but m- more fun than just, like, st- straight eights. Jazz is normally swing. 
Now we have a final song that we're going to hear from you right now, Cameron, and uh, tell us about this song. This is the Cantina Band song. It's really upbeat. It's what you hear in the four Star Wars when they walk into that club, the No Droids Club. It's the one with the creepy-looking, huge-headed creatures that have those odd instruments. You know, that is such a great pick for a song for the saxophone. And I remember when that movie actually first came out, I believe in 1977, that song and that scene was just, everybody was talking about that. So um, here's Cameron Oliver on the Rhythms of Youth show, Kara FC, 88.9 FM. Cameron, really, really awesome to have you here in the Green Studio. Thank you for coming by. It's awesome to be here. And definitely your first visit, but definitely not your last visit. So we plan to have you back soon. Maybe. Have fun as school starts up here pretty soon. We'll probably have you back before school starts, I hope. You are starting up with this great jazz programs here at the Weber Middle School. You are listening to the Rhythms of Youth Show on KRFC 88.9 FM. Music City, Colorado. We are in the studio, the green studio now, with Eli Slocum, who is going to be an eighth grader now at Lesher Middle School. Hello, Eli. Hi. Now, you've been in this studio before. Yes. What was the setup at that point? It was a fiddle club thing with Chad Fisher. Yeah, and there were quite a few of his students in here. That was when you were at Laurel Elementary School. Now, you've been uh, studying the mandolin through uh, Chad's program for some time. That was, you started, how long ago was that? I was in fourth grade, and I believe that was 2008. So you've got some definite experience of playing this uh, really cool mandolin. Now, that's a different kind of mandolin than I've seen before. Is there a certain description of that type of mandolin? It's an F mandolin. There's there's two different kinds of mandolins. So there's an A mandolin, which is a more of a round shape, and then the F mandolin has some little twirls and stuff off to the side. Right. Basically the same tone, would you say? Yeah, it's just pretty much the same thing, but... Just yeah. looks cooler. It it looks really cool, actually. Yeah. So we're gonna hear some songs from Eli today on the mandolin. Now, um, the first tune that you're going to be playing is Fisher's Hornpipe, and this is part of uh, what you learn with Chad Fisher and his program over at Laurel. Yes. This is Eli Slocum on the Rhythms of Youth show. Thank you. 
That was really a nice job. Eli, nice job with that song. Thank you. That sounded terrific. Now, we're going to hear a couple more songs on your mandolin today. And the next song, Kitchen Girl, is not a part of Chad's teaching, but there is a different connection with the song. Yeah, my um, he, my dad learned it from listening to one of his favorite guitar players. And so I he, he played it before, and then I, I was listening to it, and I thought it was really cool. So I decided I'd have my dad teach it to me, and it worked out. That's great. Now, your dad plays guitar, and he also plays a dobro. Yes. And I'm not too familiar with a dobro. It's a resonated guitar. You sit it, sit it on your lap, and you have a little slide and finger picks like a banjo. We're going to hear that song right now on Kara FC 88.9 FM. Really, really great job, Eli. That's got to be really fun, like knowing how to play all these songs on mandolin. Yes, it's it's nice to play more than one song. I just feel that would be kind of repetitive if you, if you just play one song over and over and over. It's just... Yeah. One of the impressive things about Chad's program is the memorization, where you're memorizing these songs. Let's talk about that. So when I... When I everybody has a different way of doing it. For me, I, I just... We nor- in one lesson we normally do the A part, try to learn the A part, and then we come back and redo that because I don't always remember it completely. I'll be practicing it in between lessons and stuff, but then we'll be doing we'll be doing it again so I know it completely. Then we'll do the B part, and for some reason I, I feel that I get the B part a little quicker. I don't know why that is, but. Then I just end up playing the song a couple more times, and I've learned it. And then later and later, I begin to be able to play it faster and faster, and so so on and so forth. Sure. So for those of us that are not musicians like myself, when you say learn the A part and then learn the B part, uh, describe that. In bluegrass and folk music and stuff, there's um, two different parts of a song. There's the first part, as I played that in the... Kitchen Girl, and in Fisher's Horn Pipe, there's the almost a lighter sound in Kitchen Girl it was, and a little bit in um, Fisher's Horn Pipe, and then the B part it gets to a little more not I wouldn't say darker, but I'd say a little heavier you could say. Right. Well, that is interesting because different keys have different moods. You're saying? Yes. It depends. The song you're playing and the keys you are, because it could be the other way around, but with those two songs, it's just how that... That's really interesting. Yeah. It really is. Now, something extremely exciting at the end of this month, July, Rocky Grass is coming up, and you're going to be part of that. Yeah, I, Rocky Grass is a very cool festival where some very impressive and, you could say, famous um, bluegrass and folk musicians come and play. And you can also go to what they call the academy, is where some of these players will teach you in ways that I just find it's pretty cool to be able to meet some of these people. And this is your third time? First time um, I did the academy and I did the kids camp. I didn't find that it was too hard for me. I was a little easy then. Next year I did the more, the adult camp, intermediate. It was pretty good. I wouldn't say it was easy, but... Stay was intermediate. 
So. Well, I mean, an adult, you're not, you're not quite yet an adult. An adult playing the way that you play, they'd be pretty happy with themselves, I'd have to think. Yeah. Tell us about some of the Rocky Grass instructors you've had the uh, privilege to connect with. Last year, um, one of my favorite mandolin players in general, Chris Thiele was one of the teachers. I find him quite amazing. Another one was Mike Marshall, who's also pretty good. <laughs> I find it a privilege to be able to have lessons from them, you could say. Yeah, quite the community of, of musicians they have going out there. Yeah, there's many, many people there, and all night, all night long, there will be jams. Sometimes you can't go to sleep because there's so many. That's really awesome. Mm -hmm. We are here with Eli Slocum, who is an eighth grader out at Lesher. Really sounding fantastic on uh, this mandolin that you have here today. And we are going to be hearing a final song, and this one has a funny title for a youth to learn, so I know it's switched around sometimes as far as it being called uh, Whiskey Before Breakfast. My mandolin teacher, Chad Fisher, he played in a um, bluegrass group called Lonesome Traveler, and when I would sometimes play with them, and if I ever played Whiskey Before Breakfast with them, they'd like to call it Juice Before Breakfast to make it a little more appropriate for my age. <laughs> Juice Before Breakfast, that's so funny. This is Eli Slocum. We have been listening to Eli Slocum. Wonderful job today. Thank you. Really good. Now, um, I have to comment. That was really cool. Now, I've heard Grace Cush, who's a wonderful mandolin player. Now, you've got a little bit more experience than she does. And as, as good a job as she does on that, um, I noticed inflections, like you're taking it to another level. Yeah. Once you tend to get a little older, you'll be able to start doing a little more with the songs. Um, from what I've heard with Chad Fisher's group, born people will just play it straight through. If you go to like Rocky Grass and stuff, and if you just hear normal bluegrass players, the first time through that people will play it, it'll be just straight through. But after a while, people will start doing some improvisation and make it sound a little cooler. And at Rocky Grass, there's also a thing called the band scramble, where you put your name into a little drawing, and then people get put together in little bands, and then there's a contest in the end to see who's the best band. Eli, it's been awesome having you out here. Eli Slocum, wonderful job today. Thank you. This has been Vincent as your host and tech this evening. I very much want to thank Rafi and Alex for helping to host the show today, and they will be continuing to help host the show in training for a possible upcoming show. We would like to thank our musical guests, Taylor Hall, Cameron Oliver, and Eli Slocum. Eli will be playing this Wednesday from 5 to 5.45 p.m. on the Ben & Jerry's Outside Patio Amplified as part of the Cream of the Crop Youth Music Project. The youth music scene, very strong here in Music City, Colorado. Thanks very much for listening. <laughs>